Before we apply the quotient rule to this function to take the derivative, we're going to clean up the denominator a bit to make taking the derivative a little easier. So we're going to begin by finding a common denominator and expressing x as x squared over x. This will allow us to combine those two fractions. This will give us x over x squared plus 3 over x. And we can simplify even further by remembering that dividing is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. And if we complete that multiplication, we'll have our simplified function, which is x squared over x squared plus 3. Now the quotient rule tells us that if we have a function that is a quotient, it's made up of a fraction where we have a function in the numerator and a function in the denominator, we can find the derivative of that original function by taking the denominator, the low function, and multiplying it by the derivative of the high function, or the numerator, and then subtracting from that the high function multiplied by the derivative of the low function, all over the lower function squared. So in our case, we're looking for f prime of x of our modified function, so our high function, or our numerator, will be x squared, and our low function is going to be x squared plus 3. So if we plug this in, we'll have x squared plus 3 multiplied by the derivative of x squared, and from that we're subtracting x squared multiplied by the derivative of x squared plus 3. And this is all going to be over x squared plus 3, the quantity, squared. If we take care of our derivatives, we'll end up with x squared plus 3 times 2x minus x squared times 2x. This will all be over the quantity x squared plus 3, all squared. We can factor out that 2x because it's being multiplied by both terms in the numerator. And we'll be left with x squared plus 3 minus x squared, all over x squared plus 3, the quantity squared. And if we cancel out those two x squareds in the numerator, we'll have our final answer, which is that our derivative is equal to 6x over the quantity x squared plus 3 squared.